Hello and welcome back to Tingling at 5. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the battery in your PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller. Now I'm going to be using the 20th anniversary edition because this is the nicest controller in my opinion. Uh, all down to that PS button in the middle there with the original PlayStation colours and actually the grey plastic looks really cool as well. But you can do this with any DualShock 4 model, they're all built exactly the same, the only difference is the case. So the first thing you want to do is take a screwdriver and remove the four screws from the back. Now there is only four screws, there is nothing hidden under the label there and they're really easy to take out and you just need a normal uh, positive drive screwdriver. At this point you'll notice the controller doesn't actually fall apart so what you want to do is slowly work it from the handles at the bottom. Uh, use the uh, thumbsticks there to just apply some pressure. You don't want to be too rough. I was slightly too rough when I did this and actually using a metal screwdriver is not the smartest idea. If you've got some plastic instruments you can do this with you'll avoid damaging the plastic but if you haven't then a screwdriver works the same but you've got to be very careful not to damage the plastic. So I damaged it very very slightly and right, right there I applied a little bit too much force. The plastic itself was actually fine it's just slightly scratched but it's still usable. And what this reveals is the bottom part with the LED at the bottom there and the ribbon cable which most of you hopefully should keep in so apply a little less force than I did and on the top half here we have the battery itself. To remove this it's pretty easy what you want to do is firstly remove the power connector at the top just pull that out and the battery itself isn't glued in at all just watch the wire at the top there and the battery is now out. Now the reason you might want to replace this is this battery is only 1000 mAh. A battery you can buy on eBay very cheaply this one is 2000 mAh so it's twice the capacity and it's exactly the same size so there's multiple places on eBay you can buy this what you want to look for is that 2000 mAh uh, to refit the battery there's a small piece of plastic at the bottom uh, I'll show you at the end but there's another controller I did uh, on a live stream uh, where the piece of plastic at the bottom kept falling off and I had no idea what that is but on the anniversary controller it actually stayed in place so put the battery back in, just slot it in exactly the same place and plug the power connector back in. Now reassembling the controller, this is the trickiest part. If you're going to attempt this, be prepared to take some time. What you want to do is work out which way the ribbon cable goes in and you can do that just by plugging the ribbon cable in and pressing the PS button. Now putting it back together, you need to be very gentle. It only goes together in one particular way and you need to be very aware of the triggers. So at the moment the triggers are both in the bottom part of the controller. Ideally you want to move these to the top half of the controller. It's going to be very fiddly and it's much easier to put it back together if you move the triggers to the top half. So what I did here is actually put it back together and one of the triggers was slightly out of line as you can see on the left hand side here. So the trigger wasn't quite going together properly. So I disassembled it again and what I did is take the triggers off the bottom but then this released this accursed little spring. This is by far the trickiest part. What you need to do is thread this tiny, tiny little fiddly spring onto a piece of plastic uh, on the trigger there and put it perfectly in line with the trigger. So you can see in this clip that I've got finally got it on and the trigger itself just clips onto the top. But you're going to need to spend some time to get that spring into the right place. And you'll know you've done it right because you've got the bounce back from the trigger. If the trigger's got no bounce, then you've got it wrong. But the trigger fits back. And to put it back together, when you put the uh, triggers on the top, what you need to do is line the triggers up first and then bend the plastic slightly. I mean, when I say bend, it's very, very slight. And then you can slowly start to push it back together. So obviously at this point you've connected the ribbon cable already. And we're not going to put the screws in yet. What you're going to do is test that every button works. Just make sure it feels okay, the LED lights up at the bottom. And if everything works, then you can put your screws in because you don't want to screw it back together and then realize it doesn't work. Now at this point if you think, yeah that's way too easy, what about changing uh, the sticks here or the buttons? Well I did a live stream for this and I'll put the link on this video right now. So if you click the live stream you can go and watch that. Thanks for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. Please follow me on your favorite social media platform.